a very good morning good afternoon good night whenever you will watch this video so today our topic is ocean boiler so we'll start with our topic i hope you are ready with your uh, pen and paper and you should note it down the important points if you will find so uh, first of all how to start the uh, question boiler if it is asked in your examination then how you can write so first of all we will give the basic idea about this uh, question boiler how we will give the basic idea so over here i will write down certain points that number one first point is which one that from the figure as you can say it has how many tubes one two three four that means one thing we can say that it is a multi tube boiler because it has more than one tube that is why it is known as multi tube boiler next point what we can say that as we know that surrounding the tubes that is your tube and surrounding the tubes which thing is present water is present and inside of the tube which thing is present hot flue gases are present that means it is which type of boiler it is your fire tube boiler why fire tube boiler because inside of the pipe which thing is present hot flue gases are present and surrounding the pipe which thing is present water is present that is why it is also known as fire tube boiler now next third point is which one that from the geometry of that boiler you can say that if you want to draw the axis of this boiler so that axis will be horizontal means this type of axis you can draw then only you can draw the shell of the boiler so from the center if i will draw one axis so that axis is horizontal like this so that is why this boiler is also known as horizontal axis boiler so that is your horizontal axis boiler also next point if i want to mention about this boiler so what we can say that it is also known as internally fire boiler why it is known as internally fire boiler because that that is your shell of the boiler and inside of the shell of this boiler that is your furnace so over here in the furnace so over here i should write that furnace so inside of the furnace what's happen combustion is taken place and that furnace is present inside of the shell of the boiler so that is why combustion is taken place inside of the boiler or inside of the shell that is why it is known as internally fire boiler so uh, basic four things we can see from this multi tube boiler the next is fire tube boiler the next is horizontal axis boiler and next is thing is combustion of the fuel is taken place inside of the shell that is why it is known as internally fire boiler now after this we will give the dimensions of this boiler so for that if i want to say base diameter so over here base diameter is how much it is around 2.75 meter base diameter of this boiler that means this length this length is around how much 2.75 meter i hope you can see up to that much let me check yes you can see properly 2.75 meter is the diameter and height of the boiler that height of the boiler is around 5.8 meter 5.8 meter so that is your base diameter which is 2.5 meter and that is total height so from this distance to bottom distance that total height is 5.8 meter and if you will talk about the capacity of boiler so we will write capacity of this boiler is around 3500 kg per hour that means this type of boiler can generate the steam which is 3500 kg in one hour that means this capacity of that uh, boiler is how much it can generate how much amount of steam it can generate 3500 kg of steam in one hour so that is the capacity of boiler so that is all about the uh, basic idea of this question boiler now we will discuss about the working principle now as you know that any type of boiler or boiler is used for what purpose to generate the high pressure and high temperature of the steam 
So over here, you can see that that is the collection of this steam and that steam is collected in the hemispherical shell. That is your hemispherical shell and over here steam is collected. So generally all boilers are used to generate the high pressure and temperature of the steam and that high pressure and temperature of the steam is used in the uh, power plants to produce the electricity. So over here boiler is used for what purpose? To generate the high pressure and high temperature of the steam. Now how ocean boiler will generate high pressure and high temperature of the steam that we will see. So first of all what we will do that that is your fire door. We will open the fire door after that we will insert the coal as a fuel and that coal we will place on the surface of grate. So that surface is known as grate. Now grate means what? It is this type of net. That is a grill you can say. And on the grill which is known as gate, which is known as grate, we will put the piece of the coal. So over here we are putting the piece of the coal. That is your grate which is a, a net surface and above that net we will put the coal as a fuel. After that what we will do, we will ignite the coal and due to the ignition what happens, combustion of the coal is taken place and due to the combustion from the coal we can say that hot fuel gases are produced because whenever thing, whenever you can combust anything so due to the combustion hot fuel gases will produce so due to the combustion of that coal hot fuel gases will produce now that hot fuel gases will travel through this flue pipe so that is your flue pipe that passage is known as flue pipe and that flue pipe is connected with what is connected with the fire tubes why fire tubes because that tubes are surrounded by the water and inside of the tube this thing is present that flue gases are present and that hot flue gases are produced due to the combustion of the coal now with the help of that uh, flue pipe that flue, flue gases or hot flue gases will enter into a fire tube and that fire tube is surrounded by the water so what's happened the inside of this fire tube whatever flue gases are there that flue gases will reject the heat to this water so that water will be converted into hot one and after heating the water what's happened that flue gases will pass through the smoke box so that portion is known as your smoke box and smoke box is connected with the chimney so through the chimney whatever flue gases are there that will be rejected in the atmosphere so with the help of fire tubes we are heating the water now with the help of this hot water will do what it will generate the steam and that steam we will use so that is all about the working principle. Now over here uh, circulation of the water is natural. Now if circu circulation of water is natural why because over here in this uh, boiler we are not using any type of pump. So force circulation is not present. Natural circulation of water is present. How? That uh, first of all that is your feed check valve. So with the help of feed check valve what we will do we will pass the cold water. Now when that cold water we will pass, so cold water has higher density, so that cold water will move in the downward direction and when it will move in the downward direction, so it will come in contact with the flue gases, sorry for fire tubes and when it will come in contact with the fire tubes, so what's happened, that cold water will be heated and converted into a hot water and hot water has a lower density compared to a cold water that we are passing with the help of heat check work. So as uh, over here water is hot cold water is converted into a hot water due to the fire tubes and hot water has low density so that hot hot water will move in the upward direction and when hot water will move in the upward direction at that time whatever passage is there in that passage whatever cold water that we will insert that in that passage cold water will take its place that means hot water will move in the upward direction and convert it into a steam and collect it in the hemispherical shell and uh, cold water will present at the bottom side. Why? Because cold, uh, cold water has higher density and uh, due to that higher density it will move in the downward direction and when it will move in the downward direction it will come in contact with the fire tube. Again that cold water which is moving in the downward direction will convert into a hot water again its density is decreasing so it will move in the upward direction and convert it into a steam again that cold water that we are passing from the feature wall it has a higher density so it will move in the downward direction again it will convert it into a hot water again it will move in the upward direction again cold water will occupy the passage nearer to the furnace 
so that circulation of the water is natural due to the density density difference also you can say like that that hot water has a lower density so that it will move in the upper direction and the cold water has lower density so it will move in the downward direction that cold water will be heated so it will be converted into a hot water it will move in the upward direction cold water will move in the downward direction and circulation of the uh, water will take place naturally so that is why uh, point number 5 i can write like this it is also known as natural circulation type boiler also natural circulation type boiler also so that is all about the working principle of that boiler now we'll discuss about the mountings which are located at the top side of the boiler so first one is your water level indicator that portion is known as water level indicator water level indicator will do what it will indicate how much amount of water level which is present inside of the boiler now next is your pressure gauge pressure gauge will indicate that inside of that boiler how much pressurized steam is present say 20 bar 22 bar the next is your safety valve safety valve will do what that uh, when inside of the boiler excess amount of pressure is created at that time automatically that safety valve will open so that accident may be avoided over here that is your steam stop valve when steam steam stop valve will stop it's working means if steam stop valve will not open so what's happen excess pressure will be created and due to that there may be a chance of accident but to overcome the accident steam stop valve is located uh, sorry safety valve is located safety valve will do what it will simply open and release the pressure as for example in our pressure cooker one uh, whistle is there that whistle will act as a steam stop valve but when that whistle will not work properly so what's happen that whistle will not open that means inside of the pressure cooker excess amount of this steam is created so that there may be a chance for accident so that a pressure cooker may burst but on the pressure cooker this type of hexagonal if you have seen or not this type of hexagonal safety valve is given so at that time that safety valve will open so that pressure cooker may not be burst so that is all about the construction as well as working principle of this uh, portion boiler now i would like to end this video till then read hard work hard thank you very much